What's up YouTube, Hegshot87, and I have a little gem here that I would like to share with you guys. Welcome to the channel. There's a little red button down below. It says subscribe. Make sure you guys do that. You'll be linked with us every time we do a video. Thank you guys for watching. So what we have today is the Steyr M9A1. Uh, super excited. I think this is a gem in the... Uh, community that isn't talked about a lot and I'd like to share some of the features this is a full review by the way we do have some shooting and it looks like it's about to rain on us but I want to uh, do some of this if you see it go inside that means we are washed out so I do not have a box with this I was actually able to borrow this uh, from the same guy that lent us the mod 2 uh, but what it comes with out of the box is you'll get two magazines uh, the ones I have here are actually the plus two magazines. They're 17 rounds. You see how it says plus down there? Uh, it also, I believe it comes with the 15 rounds though out of the box. I may be wrong on that. Uh, you can see it is a very similar design to what we're used to seeing. You have a single slot here for your rail. Notice how blocky it looks up front here. Uh, you have your slide serrations. Notice how small the slide actually is. And although racking the slide, it looks like it would be kind of tough. It's actually not. Those serrations are uh, pretty cut pretty deep and they feel pretty good. Here's your uh, slide stop right here. Uh, it's kind of angled on the top, so makes it uh, getting, if you use it as a release, then it makes it uh, pretty convenient for that. Your magazine button right there is not reversible you just kind of press it in boom there you go it's kind of long so it's pretty easy to get to you have finger grooves here in the front all right so you're able to get a solid purchase on it and notice how low my hand is actually sitting next to the slide so that's pretty good right there and uh, the back strap here has a slight hump to it okay so notice that. So the, the ergonomics of the gun, I have to say, are fantastic. They really are nice. The slide stop is not ambidextrous, okay? All right, now let's talk about some of the cool features of the gun. Notice the sight picture here. It is a trapezoidal sight. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So you have your uh, notches back there. It is adjustable, by the way. And then you have your triangle up front. Now, I know it's a kind of a love or hate it thing when we have different setups like this on some pistols. I love it. I think it works great and it's very quick to pick up. So, very nice. One thing I did want to show you, there is a roll pin underneath the rear sight. That distinguishes this as a fourth generation. So, some of the older versions did not have this. Um, also, some of the older versions had an extractor, which was uh, actually bad, so. All right, a guy I'm by the name, I may mis, uh, mispronounce this, but Will Wilhelm Bubitz uh, actually worked at Glock, and he was one of the designers behind the, the M9. So, it kind of makes sense. You actually have a very low bore axis. Uh, you have a very nice trigger. Let me show you this trigger real quick. You have a little bit of take up right here. Very minimal pressure and it breaks. Show you the reset. You can't really hear it. It's not too loud. But it's very short. Right there. You're ready to go. Very nice trigger. You actually have a four inch barrel up front here. Uh, that trigger that we just showed you is actually five pounds. So it's very light, very crisp. Uh, of course, this one is in nine. I believe they do make them in 40 as well. Uh, you also have like this one is the M series. So this is the medium size. You have a C, which is a compact and an L, which is a medium size, but it has the long slide. Uh, like I said, 15 or 17 round magazines are available. 6.9 inches in overall length, 26 ounces unloaded, so it's not exactly light. It's got a tenor for finish, and these things are going between four and 450 bucks. 
that's a deal man anytime you can get a gun like this in that range this kind of quality I'd say it's a win-win a uh, before we get to the shooting I did want to show you the disassembly it's not too bad basically what you do make sure it's clear pull the trigger you have a lockout over here. You can see how it has the two little holes right there. You actually push this in, pull this down. Can be a little bit tight there. Pull that down right there. And now your slide assembly will come off. Here is your recoil spring. It does look like a polymer guide rod. It's got the flat main spring on it, or coil spring. <laughs> There's your four inch barrel. Pretty similar to what we're used to seeing. It is drop safe. There is a firing pin block uh, somewhere here in the slide. It doesn't look as conventional as what we're used to seeing, but there you go. Reassembly. This end goes out. There we go. Take a look at the inside there. Your points of contact on the rail. Very nice construction. Slide it to the rear, flip that up, there you go. You also have a loaded viewport down there, which is kind of neat. I also noticed that the extractor stuck out a bit when there, was a, uh, when there was a round in the chamber. So, we talked about the features of this gun. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of shooting, and we will uh, come back to talk to you guys. yard headshot test. Get y'all up and close here. Same hole.
Alright, so here was my first target right there. I believe this was two magazines. Uh, very consistent. I was shooting a little bit high, but that wasn't too bad. And then here was the headshot test. I think I had one, two, three, four, five, six out of the 15, so that was not too bad there. Uh, the camera did malfunction on us during some uh, speed shooting. The recoil, yeah, I, it's it's not bad. Obviously, it's a nine millimeter, so it's not bad at all. I wouldn't say it's a whole lot less than any other gun. You know, um, it's easy to control, very easy to shoot. That front sight, by the way, picks up so nice. Check that out. Let me show you that one more time. There you go. There's your sight picture. So it's it's really easy to pick up and keep that on target. We did have the one malfunction, and it was weird. When I was actually shooting, it was almost like the gun short stroke. Like there wasn't enough power to bring the slide back to kick that shell out. So I don't know, you know, if it, the powder in the shell wasn't right. I don't know. But uh, that was the only malfunction that we had through 100 rounds with the gun. All right, so as you can see, we uh, got rained out outside, but that's okay. It's not going to stop us. We'll get this done. Um, the shooting, like I said, the, the gun shot well, and it did very nice. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that these were actually starting to be imported back in 2010 is when they... Uh, re-established you know Steyr USA started importing them again uh, so this thing does have some history like I said with the extractor and the issues the earlier generations had uh, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of the Steyr M9 uh, let's start with the good stuff first uh, the price you know at 400 450 bucks you're getting two magazines and a heck of a gun and a unique gun. Uh, just like the little uh, intro we talked about. If you hate Glocks, if you can't stand M&Ps, if you don't like Springfields or whatever the case may be, this gives you a different option at, at a good price. So it's different. It's got a great price. It's got a beautiful trigger. I'll show you one more time. It's so crisp, so light. And actually this roll pin up here um, something to do with that actually made the trigger better than what it used to be. Um, I can tell you it is very nice. Uh, the sight picture, if you can get used to it, I would, uh, I'd say that's a pro as well because they pick up very nice. It's very similar to the FNS 9 that we did where it had the really big dot up front. So it's very easy, uh, to, to see that, that, uh, triangle up there. So... I think it picks up nice um, and the gun feels good it feels really good in the hand it all right so great price uh, very different gun beautiful trigger I like the sights um, I did want to show you really quick before we talk about the cons just a little size difference I don't have too much here to compare it but here is the compact version of the Smith & Wesson uh, so you can kind of get an idea there in the front. Notice the width there. Uh, the, the M9 is 5.4 inches high. So you have a significant difference. Obviously this one is 17 rounds and this one's 12 too. So there you can kind of get see where it's at. Uh, you're probably going to be in the Glock 17-ish kind of range. So there you go. Now let's talk about the cons of the M9. As I see it, this is just my opinion. Keep that in mind. Uh, I notice the slide sticks a little bit when I'm racking it. Uh, it tends to want to kind of spring forward sometimes, even when I, I had it locked in a position like this. And something, I don't know what happened. It was kind of freak, but it just kind of sprung forward really quick on me. At one point, I had my fingers and everything out of the way but it just feels like it kind of sticks uh, sometimes I don't know what that's about but um, the grip angle may be a little weird for some people um, I, I had to kind of get used to it my shots were kind of going high at first but then I, I brought it down so that may or may not uh, bug you the grip texture itself it is uh, it's actually feels pretty good but that uh, the, the finger grooves, some people like them, some people hate them. Thought I would just mention it at least. 
Um, you may see the sights as a con. I think they're great, uh, but you can get night sights on the gun as well, so that is an option. All right, also the weight for the size of the gun. Um, I'd say it's probably, you know, a small, a, a medium-sized frame, but it's more on the uh, full-size end of things. But the weight is 26 ounces unloaded, so once you load this bag boy up, as far as carry, it may not be the best option. Home defense, range gun, absolutely this thing is going to make you look pretty good, I feel, at the range. Uh, it also has this rail up front, so you can hang a light laser for home defense and you will be good to go. Concealed carry, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, the beveling, notice the magazine well right there. It's not a... Uh, it's not very friendly when you're trying to put the mags in. You have a very limited space here to get that mag right and push it up and in. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not beveled at all, so that may give you an issue. Also, didn't notice the little lanyard cutouts there, so you can hang a lanyard and swing it around at somebody. I don't know. All right, and also the accessories for the M9. I uh, I didn't find much in the way of accessories. But I thought I'd point that out. I, I don't know that there's a lot for this gun. But like I said, I'm not an expert on this. So if whatever you guys know, feel free to leave it down below. So the weight, kind of on the heavy side. Grip angle may bother some people. The sights may bother some people. I like them, but you know, hey, that's just me. Uh, but other than that, you have a very different gun. A great shooting gun. And one that you can afford. That is really nice. So... I want to know what you guys think about the Steyr M9 and S9 and L9 series of pistols. I'm not an expert on them, but I, th I thought this was going to be a uh, really cool one to show you guys. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that little red button that says subscribe. You'll be linked with us every time we do a new video. We appreciate you guys watching. See you next time. And as always, hold them down.